I got an interesting project on how to do FortiGate scale out architecture with layer two. So the goal of this is, is when you get the higher end FortiGate units, they're pretty powerful and you can use what's called VDOM licensing, which lets you virtualize firewalls inside of that same physical firewall chassis. Um, one of the major drawbacks of VDOMs is that you have to dedicate physical links to it um, and everything's moving towards the cloud. So FortiGate likewise needs to move things to the cloud. So what we're going to do is attempt to create many, many, many virtualized firewalls inside of a physical chassis, right? So we're gonna have our main internet connection coming in and we're gonna use the root. So if you're not familiar, if you put VDOMs on a FortiGate, there's always a root VDOM. So I'm gonna use the root as our data center level firewall. So that's gonna be doing our intrusion prevention, that's gonna be doing our VIPs, it's gonna be doing all, everything else. And then I'm going to create this middle tier that is going to be internal segmentation firewalls. And what we're going to do between root and these internal segmentation firewalls is we're going to operate at layer three. And what we're going to use to control layer three, because you can create as many of these as you want to, and keeping up with static routes as you update and add firewalls, it's just not really practical. So we're going to be implementing BGP as our dynamic routing protocol for the top end of this, which is going to be layer three. And then what we're going to do is we want everybody that owns these firewalls, these internal segmentation firewalls, to be able to control their own VLANs. So they need to be able to create all their policies. This needs to be the decision point for all of the VLANs that they create. And what we need to do is put that over a virtual link and outside of a physical link to a switch and then to a hypervisor so that we can build servers. And the technology that Fortinet uses that we're going to use to implement that is what's known as an EMAC VLAN. We're going to use an EMAC VLAN in combination with the network processing unit virtual links to create this link between all of these firewalls and a transparent firewall that is going to hand off layer two traffic over a physical link to a physical switch and then to a physical hypervisor, which will then virtualize that connection inside of a VM. So this is an interesting concept. Um, haven't done this at a large scale yet, so we're going to uh, build this out in the lab. I'm going to create a video series and I'm going to document as we go about and do this step by step, and uh, hopefully you guys learn something.